Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then let's go down low. Touch your toes. go back up high and this time can we go tippy toe high and while we're there let's have a wave very good and then back down to touch your toes once more and stands up straight and let's shake it out guys arms and legs have a shake Shake it out. Next, we'll do some rotations. We'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent. And then five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. And now we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And to finish, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Have a seat. So in our previous math lesson, we will continue to learn about addition. But who can remember what type of problems were we doing in addition last time? Excellent. Well remembered, guys. We began to learn about how to do addition word problems. So let's write that phrase on the board first. First of all, we'll have the addition or plus symbol. Addition. Addition. A. A. T. I. O. N. Addition. Or, as we've learned earlier, this can also be known as the plus sign. Plus and addition, same thing. 
But then word problems. O R D. Problems. P R O B L E M S. Addition. Word problems. And remembering back to the last lesson, addition word problems is very important to read the entire problem first so that we understand it, then identify the numbers that we need to add together so that we can come up with our total answer. And we're going to practice a couple now and have our students demonstrate their knowledge of how to correctly answer addition word problems. So first of all, we need a word problem. So here goes, guys. A swimming pool. A swimming pool costs. Okay, now I need some numbers. Who can give me some numbers? Seven. Two, four. Seven, two, four, comma, three, three. Nine. nine, zero, zero. Okay, so so far a swimming pool costs seven hundred twenty four thousand three hundred and ninety baht. Okay. A tennis court, T E N N I S, and then the place where we play tennis is called a court, C O U R T. Costs. Okay, more numbers, guys. Two eight. Two eight seven, comma, six. Six, zero, three, okay. <laughs> Bart. B-A-H-T. Because we're in Thailand, we'll use the Thai currency. So now we have our two numbers. But the question, how, when we talk about price, how much? How much is the Cost of them. T H E M. Okay, so now we have our addition word problem. Let's read together, guys. A swimming pool costs seven hundred and twenty four thousand three hundred ninety baht. A tennis court costs 287,603 baht. How much is the cost of them? Okay, so now we have our word problem. What we need next is a student to show us how to answer. So let's close our eyes, guys. Let's see who wakes up. Okay, and now Pangpon has the pen. So Pangpon can come forward and show us how to correctly answer the addition word problem. So Pangpon, first of all, we need to read our addition word problem. We've done that, so now we have to identify the two numbers for calculation. What's our first number, guys? Art. Our second number, 287,103 baht. So, Pangpon, can you do the calculation for me? Seven. Seven hundred twenty-four thousand three hundred ninety plus. 
Excellent, well done, Bang Pong. So now we're ready to answer our addition word problem. Zero plus three, three. equals three. So we write three as our answer. Nine plus zero, equals nine. Equals nine. Three plus six, nine. equals nine again. Comma, after our third digit, four plus seven, four, eleven. 11. So four. drop the one, carry over one. 1 plus 2 3. equals 3 plus 8 equals 11. 11. So again, drop the 1 and carry. 1 plus 7 equals 8. Plus 2 equals 10. 10. Bang Pong, that's excellent. You can see Bang Pong has realized we've gone into the millions. So after our sixth digit, we need another comma. So now we have our answer 1 million. And 11,993. So we can say the total cost of both places is 1,011,993 baht. Bang Pong, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Bang Pong, please, guys. <laughs> you can see, with addition word problems, once we read and understand, we do the same calculation that we do with all addition problems. And let's do one more now, so I need to clear the board. So now we're ready for our second addition word problem. Yesterday. Yesterday. Now I need some numbers. Three. Three. Zero. Zero. Seven. Nine. Seven. Six. Six. Four. Four. Okay. Yesterday, three hundred and nine thousand seven hundred and sixty-four people. O-P-L-E went to work by car. C-A-R. Okay? And then, some more numbers, please. Six. Six. Nine. Six, nine. 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 Comma. Two, eight, zero. People, P E O P L E, went to work, okay, by train. B Y T A I N. Excellent. And now for the question. How many people went to work Okay. So let's read our um, addition word problem together. Yesterday, Yesterday. 309,000 764 people went to work by car. 699,280 people went to work by train. How many people went to work okay so now i need our student to answer so let's close our eyes guys and now it's the turn of student down so down can you come forward please and show us how to correctly answer this word problem so first of all guys we need to identify our numbers for addition we have 300 
a nine thousand seven hundred sixty four plus six hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred and eighty. So Dan, can you show us how to calculate this word problem? So we have three, zero, nine, comma, seven, six, four. And then what number do we need to add, guys? Correct. Six, nine, nine, comma, eight, zero. Excellent. Brilliant, Dan. So now we're ready to answer our addition word problem. Four plus zero equals four. Six plus eight equals 14. So we drop the 4, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 equals 8. Plus 2 equals 10. So 0, carry the 1. And then comma. 1 plus 9 plus 9 equals 19. So we drop the 9, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus 9? 10. So 0 again, and then carry the 1 over. 1 plus 3 plus 6 equals 10. So 0, 1. An excellent well done, Dan. We have another comma. So now we have our answer. 1 million, 1 million and 9,044. So we can answer by saying the total number of people who went to work is 1 million and 9,044. And that's how to read, understand and correctly answer addition word problems. Dan, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Dan, please, guys. <laughs> and now we're going to move on in today's lesson and what our students need to do is they need to think and create their own addition word problems. And remember, guys, we need two numbers to add together and they must be either five digits or six digits because we're dealing in large digit numbers. So teachers, what you need to do is give all of the students in your class a plain piece of A4 paper like this. And then what our students need to do is they need to think about an addition word problem where they have to add two different numbers together. They have to write it and then we'll pick some students to come forward and present their word problems too. So give each student a piece of A4 paper and around 15 minutes to complete their word problem. And then after each one is ready, you can check it to make sure it's correct. But what's the first thing we need to do, guys? Names on top. Names on top. Okay. So, Chu, this one's for you. Pak Boom for you. Pat, you're welcome. Nadia, Ned, Dan, you're welcome. Preo. Bang Bon, Lakau, you're welcome. So guys, remember about addition word problems. You have to have two numbers to add together, but they can be anything. Like this example is people, or you could use the cost of things like art, or other things like the amount of sweets, or fruits, or flowers. The important thing to remember is that our students must use either five digit numbers or six digits and then add them together. 
So teachers give our students around 15 minutes and then just monitor the class and help them with anything they need. Okay, guys, so your addition word problems. Okay. Okay, so, so you need to write. So you can write your own addition word problems, guys. And remember, your word problems can be about anything. It can be anything. It can be price. It can be the amount of people, amount of sweets, amount of flowers. This is an idea for our students to think independently and come up and create their own addition word problem. So that's excellent, Prel. Today, my mother go to buy a car. How much is the car? How many bars? So it can be five or six digits, and it's up to you. You can think about the price yourself. Excellent, Lacko. Okay. Yes. After the cost is the money. Welcome back to class. We hope by now your students have all correctly written and prepared their addition word problems. And what we're going to do soon is we're going to invite some students to come forward, present their word problem, and then we can answer together on the board. But first of all, guys, it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we'll begin by walking on the spot. Stop. Turn left. Turn left again. Turn left. And left. Hello. Jogging on the spot. Stop. Walking on the spot. Stop. Jogging on the spot again. Quickly. Three, two, one. Stop. Turn right. Turn right again. Turn right. And right. Hello. And to finish, we will do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So now we're ready to present some of our addition word problems that our students have prepared. And I'd like to invite our first student to the front of class. So, Net, can you come and join me, please? And Net will bring his addition word problem. So what Net's going to do, he's going to tell me his word problem. I will write it on the board, and then Net can demonstrate how we answer it. So the first sentence, Net, what do we have? A car costs 543,210 baht. Okay, a car costs how much net 543,210 baht a 
And then the next part are house costs. A house costs 441,505 baht. So now the question, what is the cost of both? W H A T is the cost of both. So now we have net addition word problem on the board. What Ned will now do is demonstrate how to answer the word problem. So Ned, over to you. So we can see our two numbers. We have 543,210. And our second number, 400. 505. Okay, so now we're ready to answer net addition word problem. 0 plus 5 equals 5. Equals 1. 2 plus 5 equals 7. Then comma... 3 plus 1 equals 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Equals 9. So now we have our answer. 984,715. So we can say the total cost of the car and the house is 984,715 baht. Net, that was excellent, very well done, and that was a great addition weird problem. So, round of applause for Net, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and play on with your own students in your own classroom for around the next 10 minutes or so. And try to have as many students as you can come forward and present their word problems and then the whole class can answer together. And we're going to carry on here now. So now I'm going to ask another student to come forward. But before that, I need to clean the board. Okay, so now I'd like to call Lakau to the front of class, please. And Lakau is going to bring and present her addition word problem. So let's see, we have Bangpon has 859,982 bananas in my house. Okay, Pangpon has how many lakh now? Bananas in my house. Why does Pangpon have his bananas in your house? <laughs> and then Down. Down has... Bananas... In my house. 
And then we need the question, how many bananas in my house? How many bananas in my house? Okay, so now we have Lakgau's addition word problem on the board. And I'd now like to ask Lakgau to demonstrate how we can answer it. So where's the wall? We need to take our first number, 859,982. And then our second amount, 992,000. 281. Excellent. And now Lakgau will demonstrate how to answer the two numbers together. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. Equals three. 8 plus 8 16. So drop the 6, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 2 12. And then 9 plus 1 plus 2, 12. And don't forget our comma. Well done, Lakgau. 1 plus 5 equals 6 plus 9. Excellent. So put the 5 down. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 plus 9 equals 18. So eight, one, and another comma. So now we have our answer. One million, eight hundred, and fifty-two thousand, two hundred, and sixty-three. Excellent. So we can say, bang pon, and down, have one million, eight hundred, and 52,263 bananas in Lakgau's house. But now I have a question. Bang pong, Dan, why are your bananas in Lakgau's house? <laughs> but that's how we can correctly read, understand, and answer addition word problems. And Lakgau, that was brilliant. High five. And a big round of applause for Lakgau, guys. And we've come to the end of today's lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting, particularly with your students having to create and think of their own addition word problems. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon.